Welcome to another edition of Keeping It Real with Rob. I'm your host, Rob Connett. Joining us for this week's episode, head coach of the Green Level Women's Soccer Team, Stacey Lamb. Coach Lamb, thanks for joining us. No problem. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. All right, let's, so let's talk about the season so far, 2023. Uh, we're a few weeks into the season. How are the Gators looking so far? Uh, we look great. We're excited. And, and I tell the girls all the time, you know, be happy with where we are, but never be complacent and always understand I'm always going to want more. Like never be satisfied is kind of our our team mantra. And um, every day they come out just with great attitudes and work ethic. And, and we're excited about the potential of this season. Where, was that uh, an easy buy in for most of the players to be like, hey, you're always going to want to do better? Always. You know, we knew that we had a good core returners coming back. We lost two last year. Um, those two just happened to be our starting two center backs. So it was very transparent coming in the void and, and what we were trying to fill. But the team showed up really still fueled by the passion that last season ended. You know, we felt like last year it ended too early, even though we made it pretty far. Um, but everybody left last season really not demoralized or dejected, but already ready for this season yeah. to to start again. And they showed up on day one, ready to go. Let's let's talk about some of those players, some of the key returners from last year that have kind of been leading uh, your team so far in 2023. Right. Well, and it's it seems easy enough to do, but it's actually really difficult because we've got a tremendous senior class in leadership, a tremendous junior class and leadership freshmen and sophomores you know ready to step up as well so it really is leading by example and then leading by experience and then leading um in small groups and so you've got you know emma ludinia starting in the goal for us she was voted captain this year by the team has posted two shutouts so far you've got a senior class that is just really exciting and full of personality um our team is not is, is definitely not devoid of personality whatsoever but um emma uh, like i said emma ludinia then you've got elissa Falick, who is a returning captain from last year who is everything you would ever want in a leader she leads by example she leads vocally she she does that dirty work you know and she knows what our expectations as a coaching staff are for our leaders and just really picked up and embraced that in the preseason leading up to and then in actual preseason and now that the season started um, with her you've got Presley Johnson who is another senior um, also elected captain this year we've actually got five captains because of wow of how close it was, um, which I think is a testament that we don't rely on one person. We don't rely on two people. We truly rely on a collective leadership. But um, Presley and Alyssa now, we've scored seven goals so far in our first two games, and Presley has five and Alyssa has two. So, you know, you can't, you can't, you certainly can't overlook them. But then you've got equally strong leadership in the wings. You know, Addie Wilson's a junior returning forward she is now a junior center back and is doing a fantastic job um, really getting just anchoring our defense with emma and then really looking to get forward when she can she also has an assist already so you just keep going you've got doc shiny who's up top for us um it, it's hard i hate it when i start to talk about players because inevitably somebody gets left out and you can't leave anyone out of this team you know um so i could talk about all of them for days i don't want anybody mad that their name didn't get mentioned <laughs> no, it's good though um but again we've talked about the five senior or the five captains and that's emma ludinia um doc shiny nima you've got um presley johnson you've got Elissa Falick, and then you've got a uh, junior captain is Maris Toppin, who you can't talk about any of our teams without talking about Maris either, because she's a returner. She's absolutely, you know, our backbone up the middle. And and just, again, I could talk about all of them for days. 
You mentioned Presley Johnson. She's going to be our guest next week here on the show. So we're looking Better forward to filter that. with that one. You never know what's going <laughs> um, When you look at the schedule, again, we're, we're early on in the season. When you look at the 2023 schedule for the fans or, or students that want to come out and support you guys, it, are there a couple matches that are circled and you're like, absolutely, we need as many people here as we can uh, just just to get the word out, hey, you know, how can we uh, support you guys? Uh, all of them. Or, yeah. you know, <laughs> um, obviously, the the non-conference games kind of lead us up to the season are important just to gain momentum. And we've yet to have the same starting lineup. We've yet to play the same formation, which is something we've never done before. I'm very much a creature of habit and go with what's comfortable and go with what we know. But it's also been a new side of any of my teams that I've seen where on any given day, based on, you know, who might be out for a day due to sickness or or injury, maybe. But it's fun saying, hey, let's see what this formation looks like. And so we're really doing a little bit of everything, which feels a little unsettling, but exciting at the at the next stop. But when you look to our conference games, you've got the you've got the go to's, you know, everybody wants to beat Holly Springs and um, they're a very strong team. We play them on senior night at home this year. So they will be our, our last um, home regular season home nice. game. Um, Apex Friendship's another big one. Um, but Panther Creek is our crosstown rivals, kind of like Green Hope. And you go into those and there's an automatic level of just competitiveness because our girls play club with those players from those schools. And so there's on the field and off the field rivalries as well. So they're all important, but I think Apex Friendship and Holly Springs are are two that we, I know they were part of our, our goals this year and part of our team culture and targeting those. For those that do not know, uh, you have a big background when it comes to soccer, obviously. You were a player yourself back in the day. You're a former D1 coach. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm curious if you can kind of walk us through how in the world did you end up here at Green Level? Um, to say it was a non-traditional route is very accurate. Um, I got out of college coaching and made the decision to get into healthcare. Um, so I actually moved from Louisiana to North Carolina to work as a flight paramedic on Flight for Life. Wow. Of, in an environment. And while I was interviewing there, um, my brother-in-law, Brian McDougal, who was at Green Hope before me, um, evidently I wasn't the easiest person to be around without soccer in my life. Um, <laughs> there are words you can't use on air to describe me evidently um, during that void. And so he came home from work one day and I was over at their house and he was telling me that Green Hope was in between coaches. You know, they had had a coaching change between the boys' season and the girls' season. And there was not a panic, but they were trying to figure out how they were going to find a coach in just a few weeks before the women's season was supposed to start. Yeah. And he eloquently, I think, talked to Miss Summers and Coach Fagley and was like, I might be able to help you out. And you might be in turn make our world a little bit happier at home. And so he did the introductions and I joined the staff at Green Hope with Miss Summers and Coach Fagley. And so for me, with my brother-in-law being there and then having worked several seasons with Miss Summers and Coach Fagley, it seemed only natural to make that transition to green level when the school opened. So here I am. And that's kind of been a common theme with some of the other coaches that we've talked to throughout this school year of they started at Green Hope and then when Green Level opened up, a lot of them moved over. And that kind of has created an automatic rivalry, I feel like. Not just because the schools are so close to each other, but you have so many former Green Hope staff members and coaches that went over to Green Level when when we opened up. And, and so now it's one of those, oh yeah, I used to be with those people, now I'm with these people, and, and it kind of, you know, it just creates that automatic rivalry, I feel like. Absolutely. But I think at the same time, I think you're exactly right. And it certainly wasn't always well received that that some of us had left. Um, but you can talk about rivalry, but there's also that built-in camaraderie at the same time, which 
it doesn't have to be all bad. Certainly, if yeah. we're not playing Green Hope, I, I'm still cheering for Green Hope. And with their new principal, Allison Cleveland, who I know personally as well, I think I'm confident they're in really good hands. And I'm happy that they're in good hands. But don't get me wrong, we still want to beat them. <laughs> of course. <laughs> all right, Coach, uh, we've come to the end of the episode where we like to do a segment called Investigator. Uh, this is how it works. I'm going to be giving you some rapid fire questions. You give me an answer as soon as you can, right off the top of your head. We're just getting to get to know you a, a little better. Non-sports, non-soccer related questions. Just a little, a little personal uh, to get to know you better. Sound good? Sounds great. I'm glad you have the ability to edit. Just a, a, <laughs> my, my Coach Stacy non-filter feature heads south. All right. We're on edge. We're ready to go. Ready. First question. Your favorite season of the year? Summer, fall, spring? Winter. 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 I do not like being hot. When I left Louisiana, I vowed to never live somewhere where you just constantly sweat year round. And so I am a cold weather girl. The colder, the better. Which is funny because North Carolina winters are still pretty mild compared to where I'm from in Indiana. Absolutely. Uh, I think it's like 12 degrees there today. So, <laughs> uh, What type of car do you drive? Uh, Buick Encore. Okay. All right. You mentioned uh, how you're so used to traditions and, and you have to keep everything in check. What is your biggest pet peeve? Ooh, my girls would have a lot of input on this one. Um, gosh. I mean, I've got two and I don't know how to break the tie. So um, I can't stand it when people talk during the national anthem. Like that is that is maybe my biggest button, but equal to that is repeating myself. I hate repeating myself. <laughs> All right. Um, if you could move to any city or state that you have not previously lived in, where would it be? Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Really? Absolutely. Why is that? Uh, it's my happy place. If I if you do, if people don't know where I am, odds are I'm in Colorado, and if I'm in Colorado, it's in Steamboat. Love the people, love the lifestyle, love the snow in the winter. Uh, some of my best friends are out there. I I love everything about it. Nice. All right. Final question: What type of pizza do you like? What 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 toppings do you put on your pizza? Pineapple does not go on pizza. Let <laughs> this be Emphatic. known by everyone. Um, I'm a meat lover. I like the sausage. I like the pepperoni and the more cheese, the better, but never, ever pineapple. No pineapple on pizzas. Ever. All right. Coach Stacy Lamb for the Green Level Women's Soccer Team. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Rob.